this country has really gone through a lot of crisis. People were eating bones. People were, people were dying. Look at the history. They're dying in villages because there's nothing to eat. Just totally. You know, no rain, uh, infestation, disease. People literally left their country. Now people are all coming back, to, not just to their country. People from the countries Saudis left to are coming to live here. And these things didn't come together easily. Uh, so when, when I think about space, to me, it's not just technology, sending people out there, you know, and just let them, you know, rave about it on Twitter or something. It's not those, just those things. To me, the people that are going to go to space are going to be people who know their country very well and are proud of their country. They know the history of their country. So we're going to go through a process of uh, getting people to know who sent them to space and what they should be doing for it. I'm not borrowing from, uh, you know, uh, President Kennedy's word. Don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I think they're the clear words. But in our discourse in Saudi and the, and the speeches that were said by so, by so many of the leaders of Saudi, it's really about that. It's about getting the people to connect. Uh, so therefore, uh, for me, when I look at uh, the next generation that's going to go to space, they're going to have to be a 360 kind of uh, generation, men and women, who will embrace their country. They know why they're going to space for. Uh, they know it's not a personal junket.